Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here tonight, for standing beside me, not just in this campaign, but throughout the past four years of hard work, of resilience, and your unwavering commitment for all the people of Council District Number 14. Now, as we stand here tonight, we're not just waiting for electoral results, because trust me, it's still early. We're celebrating an incredibly successful term marked by true service and dedication, but more importantly, by results. I want to highlight to each and every one of you that we've, what we've done and what we've achieved together in these past four years is far more, is far more important than anyone would have think possible. I won't ignore for a moment the challenges that we faced, no doubt about it, after the recording that was made three years ago. Now, as all of you know, I owned it and I apologize. But I didn't quit on you because that was too much at stake and it was too much if our district didn't have representation. So my staff and I rolled up our sleeves and we dug in deep to deliver the services, the programs, and the funding we deserve here in CD14. And even in the face of intense, relentless scrutiny and pressure, we didn't flinch. We held strong for our community. People tried to break us. The people tried to break us. But they didn't know the people of CD14 are unbreakable, and so is each and every one of you in this room tonight. We showed up every day, refusing to let any moment pass without pushing to make our neighborhoods better places to live, to raise a family, to feel safe, and to call home. Too often, people think that politics is just about winning, winning an election or winning a title. They forget it's about service, service that transforms lives and makes communities stronger. It's about victories that will stand the test of time, victories that give hope and victories that give opportunities. Over the past four years, you know what we've done and the victories that we've all had collectively together in this room? We've housed more people We've has, housed more people experiencing homelessness than any other district in the second largest city in America. We, bought, we brought real housing and stability and dignity to those living on the streets without care for years. We secured more than $210 million in outside funding for our district, more funding than any other district in the entire city of Los Angeles. We created 12 brand new state-of-the-art modern playgrounds and six more are in the queue right now and we built brand new parks, three parks for our kids and families to make lifelong memories. We met the need of more than 70,000 families Families who go hungry every single day, every week, every month of the year, facing hunger with fresh food boxes so they don't have to choose between paying the rent or, in fact, eating. When people were left behind, we stepped up collectively, and we leaned in with our hearts as well as our smiles. We delivered because every family in our district deserves the most basic of human dignities. Food on the table, 
a safe place to call home and safe neighborhoods to live in. And we went beyond that, restoring pride and memorializing the rich diversity of CD14. From honoring the heroes of Filipino, Latino, African American, and indigenous uh, individuals, along with our LGBTQIA plus communities and our brothers and sisters with permanent recognitions like Ruby de Vera Square, Philippine Village, Vicente Fernandez Street, and Salas Brothers Square, Cinco de Mayo Square, the Willis O. Tyler Square, and the renaming of Pershing Square to Biddy Mason Park in downtown Los Angeles. Nancy Valverde and Cooper Donuts, as well as the Twitch Family Square. These efforts are intentional, let me underscore, are intentional to etch our diverse history into our public spaces and give eternal recognition to the contributions of those who paved our way. And we celebrated our communities with icons like Richard Alatorre and Gloria Molina.